back. Binomial expansion. This is a form three chapter. Form three. And actually, we expect it in paper two. And it is four marks. Now, follow me in this example. Expand 2 plus x power 5. 2 plus x power 5. In ascending powers of x, very important, up to the fourth term. Again, key. Fourth term. And of course, hence use it to estimate the value of this. We shall go to that one first. Let us first of all uh, expand that binomial. The 2 here, because the first value will begin from the power of 5. So the first value descends, goes downwards from 5 all the way to 0. But the second value x begins from 0 and goes upwards. And that's why we are calling it ascending powers of x, you know, from 0 to 1. So 2 goes to power 4. Then x goes to power 1. Then plus 2 goes to power 3 because it is 5, 4, 3 descending. And then x goes to power 2. Then this is the first term, second term, third term, the last term now. 2 goes from 3 descending to 2. And then x from 2 ascends to 3. So these are the first four terms that we were guided. Then now, we can write this one as x power 0 is 1. So that value vanishes. So we have 2 power 5 plus 2 power 4 is 16. 2 power 4 is 16x. 16x. Then 2 power 3 is 8 plus 8 x squared, then plus 2 power 2 is 4, of course 4 x raised to power 3. This is the expansion. But now it is not complete up to this end before we put the power, sorry, the coefficients. So you go to your table or even your calculator and look for the coefficients. Coefficients of power 5. Coefficients of power 5. Coefficients are we have 1, 5, 10, another 10, 5, and 1. But now if you look at our factors, we are in the first, second, third, and fourth. These two are not necessary. So what you do for you to get the first two marks now for the complete uh, uh, expansion, you multiply the coefficients uh, uh, corresponding to the values in their positions. For example, the first one is multiplied here, the second one is multiplied by 5, by 10, by 10. So 2 power 5 is 32. That 2 times 1 is 32. Plus 16 times 5 is 80. So 16 times 5 is 80, there is that x. Plus there is uh, 8x squared. That is 8 times 10. 8 times 10 is 8x squared. And then the last one, up to the fourth term, is 4 times 10, which is 40x power 3. This is two marks, and this is the expansion. When you have used what we call the coefficients multiplied by corresponding values in that binomial expansion. We have two more marks to go. So the first of the two marks that are remaining, we shall look for the value of x. Then in the last mark, substitute the value of x in the binomial expansion and get the value of the whole uh, sum. So what we have here is we equate these two. We equate 2 plus x power 5 is equals to 2.03 power 5. So the powers are common here. You will cancel them and remain with these values. 2 plus x is equals to 
So x is equal to take these two to the other side of the equal side. 2.03 minus 2. So our x is 0 0.03. When you get the value of x, you get one mark. So plus the two marks you got on the other side, we already have three marks. Then the last mark. You take the value of x, you substitute it in the binomial expansion, use your calculator and use it properly, you will get the value of the whole expansion. So this is what we have, 32 plus 80 times 0 0.03 plus uh, 80 times 0 0.03 squared plus 40 times 0 0.03 power 3. I hope you will do them separately. You do them separately so that you can get the value of uh, so that you can get the common value. So do this one first, this one is already done. Do this one separately, this one separately, and this one separately, and then you do the sum of all. What you will get here is going to be 34.47308. But now here, you have to come back to your question here. To four significant figures. Significant figures, first significant figure, second, third and fourth. Check on the fifth, it is less than five. So your answer is 34.47. This one gives you the last mark. Four marks. The first two marks are noted by binomial expansion and the usage of the coefficients, uh, coefficients of the powers that you're given. You can read them from the Pascal's triangle behind your mathematical table. You can also get them from the calculator if you know. And then you apply them, multiply, come up with that uh, uh, binomial expansion. Then secondly, mark number three, you do the value of x by equating this two, after which you substitute that value of x in the binomial to get what you are required to get. To prove whether you've gotten it correct, you may take your calculator so that you see whether you get, you have followed the process uh, that is required, you take your calculator and key in 2.03 power 5. 2.03 power 5. Uh, the value that I'm going to get must be close to this one. The variation or difference is going to be because of, to be because of uh, using a calculator. That is what we get. 34.473088. There's a slight difference because this is using a table and this one is using a calculator. I'll do another one more example in the next video, so continue following me.